was her abduction by the Coptic Church. From Cairo, Emin Mohedin reports. It's a missing persons case that has Egypt's Coptic Christians and Muslims crying foul over what exactly happened. At the center of the controversy is this woman, Camilia Zacher, the wife of a Coptic priest in the city of Alminia. In July, she disappeared, triggering allegations by members of the Coptic community that she was kidnapped and forced to convert into Islam. Some suggested domestic problems could have been a factor in her disappearance. But on Sunday evening, Muslim worshippers united in protest were also angered by the disappearance of Camilia, who they claim converted to Islam freely but was returned to the custody of the Coptic Church by Egyptian police against her will. If she was forced to convert or if she is still a Christian, then let her go on TV and on the news and say, I'm a Christian. But why should they abduct her and then say she was forced? What logic is that? We want her to be freed so she can appear and end this matter. The controversy was stirred further when these pictures, allegedly of Camellia, were published in Egyptian newspapers, showing her wearing the traditional Muslim headscarf, giving fuel to both sides' account. Camellia's case highlights what many fear are growing tensions between the majority Muslim population and Coptic Christians, which make up an estimated 10% of Egypt's population. Officially, the government and leaders from both religious communities downplay incidents or any wider sectarian differences. One person's account that could make a difference in this case is that of Camellia herself. However, she is now in the custody of the church and her husband, which have not let her speak freely. Instead, the church's lawyers say they plan on filing charges to prove their version of events. All the evidence they claim will be made available to the public to see then. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Cairo. Other news from around the world, unions in South Africa.